And we're back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you are watching Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Now, last time, we just made landfall on Eden Prime after arriving in the area, getting a distress call, and making the quite logical determination that everything has gone to shit. We also lost Jenkins, which sucks for Jenkins, but he wasn't really around long enough for us to care. And we have Ashley Williams there as our new soldier party member. And we find ourselves looking for some Prothean Beacon. Let's not have our guns out for the time being. Might be kind of dumb, but I don't care. Actually, I changed my mind. I want my sniper rifle out. It's our comfort toilet paper, damn you. <sighs> I am forever messing up the controls because I'm far too used to how this works in Mass Effect 2 where they tweaked a few of them. That and shift being run is a traditional video game staple that I'm still adjusting to not being a thing. Because it's been so long since I played this. But anyways, let's get off and find this beacon. And those of you who were here last time around will notice a distinct lack of bacon jokes. Yes, I decided those didn't quite fit Vin Shepard. <laughs> Melinda Shepard, my last Mass Effect character, was, put it mildly, a bit of a snarky asshole. And so, had a lot of terrible jokes. No, it was nothing to do with the fact that that was very early in my Let's Playing career, and I told awful jokes to cover up the fact that some a lot of the time I had less than nothing to say. It was nothing to do with that. Shut up. Oh god, the, the cover system in Mass Effect 1 was absolutely terrible. It really was. The fact that I can't fluidly move out of cover is not particularly nice. Oh yeah, dropped him. Fucking dropped him. Yeah, grenades being a thing. I feel, to be honest, about the fact that, that we are actually good with the sniper rifle at this stage. I explained this a bit in some of the previous episodes, but 
just to clear it up again. Uh, actually, I'll do this first. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Very good Hard question, Caden. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Think we got any survivors here? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. And we saved the game. Plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. I don't like changes of plans. In my video game experience, the phrase change of plans tends to be followed up with a dead squad member. But anyways. As I was saying before, in the original version of Mass Effect, as in not the Legendary Edition remaster, what you got was that your skill with a weapon was directly proportional to your ability points right here it says right there it increases damage and accuracy but the difference is that sway with the rifle here is virtually non-existent Whereas, in the original, it would sway all over the goddamn place. And until you got a decent number of points into sniper rifles, you could not hit anything for shit. You literally had to stand there for minutes at a time trying to line up your shot properly. Some of the time, depending on how much the enemy was moving... Sniper rifle was super inaccurate until you trained yourself to be better with it. Speaking of, we have some more points because we leveled up during that last fight. We're level two now. Uh, we have six points. I am going to put Two more into pistol because I want to unlock the ability to put points into sniper rifles. Which we can't do just yet. I think we have to be a few levels higher. And tactical armor will be one we want to go into. Because at the start of the game, we can only wear light armor, but once we get about halfway down the tactical armor tree, we unlock the ability to wear medium armor. Which means more protection, and it's just generally better across the board. Doesn't block our ability to do anything, thankfully. put a little bit into decryption and I'll put two points into infiltrator our class skill right there does something very very handy the explosion damage thing I don't care about because to be honest a lot of the time in this game, I tend to forget grenades exist. But, what Infiltrator does do, is, I'm talking about the skill line, by the way, not the class. It reduces heat buildup on pistols and sniper rifles. It starts out small, only 5%, then 6, 7 goes all the way up to a 10% reduction right there and we probably unlock more of that as we get higher in level 
but that basically means that we can fire more shots without our gun overheating, which is going to be very handy indeed. Our last point, though, will go into tactical armor. Ashley has four points, and I'm going to spend all of them in pistols, because that will unlock our ability to have her do shotgun things. She is a soldier class, in case that wasn't clear before. And the soldiers have one, the soldier class, excuse me, has one very unique attribute that none of the other classes do. Excuse me, let me confirm this before. Yeah, pretty much. If I'm remembering this right, and they haven't altered anything between the Standard Edition and the Legendary Edition, the Soldier is the only class that can wield any weapon type without penalties. Because in the original, I remember that you couldn't use, say, an assault rifle as an infiltrator, unless you completed the game and took that special trait thing at the beginning. You couldn't do that without some pretty heavy penalties. It was like less damage, less accuracy, you couldn't zoom in or something. It seems like they took off the not being able to zoom in, or aim down the sights rather, but I'm not sure what it is in this case. As for Caden, thinks more in barrier, throw, and first aid. We'll do him nicely. And pre-knowledge a bit, but I'm gonna have my pistol out for going up here. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. <laughs> Keep your guard up. Oh, why you gotta say that, Caden? Now you doomed us. He just fucking jinxed us. Oh god, they're still alive. Yeah. I don't think that quite qualifies as it. alive. And I don't know, nor do I care, what the Geth did. Come on! What the fuck, man? My being a sniper means I overtly favor long-range engagements. And I'm going to try to make them a thing whenever I can. Alright. Oh, we're done with that. Let's grab this. And some more omni gel on the grenade. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Yeah, and this is the decryption system. There are two possible ways to decrypt a lock. You can either go through the decryption minigame, or you can spend Omnigel. And... Uh, and we're through that easily enough. That little mini game where you have to bypass the rotating blocks and get to the center to unlock it is actually different than the one for if you're on console. The console version of the mini game was you just had to press the right button on your the correct button on your controller in the correct order or something. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I played Mass Effect. 
on console because I originally actually started playing the series on the Xbox, believe it or not. Yes, I was a console gamer back in the day. I still kind of am what with the PS5 I have sitting in the corner of my room. I just do most of my shit on PC now. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Eh? Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Well, that's cheery. What else can you tell me about the and attack? And to gather little intelligence, it though. So fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Okay, and what the hell is wrong with this nut job? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Hmm. Is it madness? It's quite the question he's dumped on us there. Let me think. Um, yes. Yes, it is. Now, we could say that we can shut him up, but I'm not going to. It's a bit of a dick move. And if for some reason you don't know what this does, basically we punch him and knock him the hell out, which I'm not going to do, as I said. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. All right. And we are out of there. And on to the spaceport. Saren. Hmm. Cybernetic arm, menacing sounding music. Yep, he's a baddie. This isn't your mission, Sarah. You might want to change your soundtrack, you mate. Kind of gives the game away. Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Yeah. 
Yeah, and now we know what happened to Nihilus. He took a pot shot in the back of the head. Yes. And for some reason, it looks like a giant octopus. Not sure why. Seriously, silly as the design may appear at first glance, I've always really loved the Reapers from a model perspective. And I will say no more lest I accidentally spoil. Yes, it would seem that the inaccuracy in battle is still around a bit with these rifles. Their stability is more of an at-rest type thing. Not what I was fucking looking for. Back to the rifle, thank you. We clear? That would be a no. Come on. Thank you. Even these early engagements have been a bit rough on my difficulty. Oh well. Another door to decrypt. Not what I was trying to do. Everybody stay calm and trust out there. me, those decryptions Coming do get harder Is it safe? as gone? you go on. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Yeah, I'm with that first guy. They're fucking dead. And you can just tell how irrelevant these people are to the story based off the fact they don't have names. They're just called Farmer. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. Though, this guy does, and he's also irrelevant. So, who knows, really. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... It was coming from inside your own head. Yep, jamming signal. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost that would explain possible. why that transmission from that one dude that we saw Ashley in at the beginning almost couldn't get through and why it cut out like that. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Oh, is that right? You do know smuggling is illegal, right? You're or are you that cold. stupid? We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But 
You'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Unfortunately, I didn't put any of my points to Paragon or Renegade, so... We don't have the points to ask for either of these. I'd forgotten that you actually need to put points into those early on to get stuff like this, because... I usually do it by default, but didn't under this circumstance. Oh well. Thanks for the pistol, I guess. This should help. Let's move out. Good luck. And that's interesting. Because we didn't get to press him for additional stuff, we missed out on some dialogue because there's a bit of dialogue that you get if you ask him for more things through the through the Paragon Renegade option, which is basically the morality system. There's a bit of extra dialogue you can get where, after you get that, Ashley will start pressing him a little bit for a name for his contact at the spaceport who we're going to meet soon but we will do this as a set of circumstances meet him without knowing that they're affiliated Come at on. all it's nihilus. and yeah dead nihilus that's lovely And you may have noticed an option over there, reduce to Omnigel, which is something you can do if you have a bunch of items sitting in your inventory that are not useful, basically. You can sell them for credits at some merchants, I think, but you can also turn them into Omni Gel, so you can use that for overriding locks and things. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Yeah. Well, you need to watch your ass. We could have shot you. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Yeah, and the way that seems his voice is just an indication of why I prefer the female shepherd performance. Because if you play through that with male shepherd, he just kind of sounds bored when he says that. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. And I don't know why I transitioned to a bad Arnold Schwarzenegger interpreter halfway through that sentence, but there we go. But yeah, it actually sounds like we're telling him off, off in the female version, which I prefer. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next. Those Geth were swarming over the platform, thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, 
I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. <laughs> Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? Lucky for you. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Yeah, that would be the giant octopus ship from earlier, I imagine. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. And there's some more Gethys. Dig out a sniper rifle. That's not what I was trying to do, thank you. Overloaded my rifle, right? Big guys down. And so are you. Disinclined to poke up the head. dead and we're off here to the next area <clears throat> this episode is going to be a bit longer because I'm going to try and finish Except Eden Prime charges. this episode so it will probably be in the 40 to 50 here. minute range rather than half an hour we'll see if there's anything I can cut out
Well, this looks fun. <clears throat> Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yeah, you don't fucking say. You don't fucking say. Okay. That's number two. Another Geth. Come on, my dude. Down you go. I love being a sniper. I really do. And that's one demo charge left. And jammed, as you can see right there. Geth Sniper coming out to play? I don't fucking think so. Yeah, that jammed is something you're gonna have to get used to when dealing with Geth. There's the last one. Basically, if you're around too many of them, the Geth will always jam <coughs> a radar down there. Because the minimap in this game is effectively just heads up display radar. And since I'm never wearing a helmet, I'm going with Shepard as some sort of implant in her eye, so. Shepard. Vin, I mean. You know. We have some sort of implant in our eyes to help with being able to perceive targets better as a sniper, and that's what that is. It's my head cannon. It's probably bullshit, but it's what I'm going with. And let's switch to the pistol, because... They apparently took down my squad mates. <sighs> that will happen from time to time. Your squad mates will get hammered enough that they just straight up go the fuck down. There we go. Probably useless, but we can turn it into credits or loot or something. And there's another crate here. And now we have to walk over here and get the view. My god. It's like someone dropped a bomb. That must be where the Geth ship landed. Yeah. That's my thought, too. And not a particularly pleasant one at that. But... Area secures, and here's our beacon. Time to call in the Normandy. And probably deliver the bad news about Nihilus having been literally shot in the back. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. 
Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh, shit. What the hell is that thing? It has a tractor beam built into it, too? Seriously. No, don't touch it's too What the actual fuck? Did they put drugs in that too? As well as a tractor beam? Because this is ridiculous. And now Vin is down. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance. And apparently Saren lives in the octopus ship with his girlfriend. And the beacon. Lovely. Humans may have used it. Jesus, dude, chill the fuck out. I love how he says, eliminated. Saren in that scene always seems like a fucking mob boss or something. It's great. Fucking hilarious, really is. Doctor? Doctor Chakwas? I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like shit. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About fifteen. Translation: hours. Like I have a hangover. The beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Yeah, and for some reason, the Protheans decided to build in a tractor beam, as well as drugs. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Well, we definitely feel bad about Jenkins. He got killed while following our orders, so I yeah. Like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. And did we leave Williams down there? I liked her. And we need a replacement for Jenkins anyways. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. Okay, now, what the hell, Captain? How did we not know about there being walking toasters down there. That seems like the Intel sort of thing that's going to be sir. hard to we miss. We no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. 
Nobody could have predicted this. Right. You said you needed to see I'm me sure there were no happened. signs of it about to happen what whatsoever. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The council's going to want answers. Well, we don't have anything to hide about this, do we? I don't see what we could have done differently, really. Except for, you know, not trigger the Prothean tractor beam and drug combination. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous. And he hates humans. Yeah, well, somehow, oh, I don't think him hating humans is why he was here. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Yeah, but I'm not really sure what it was, or what it means. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. And what exactly... can we say to them? <laughs> I got high off of Prothean drugs then saw stuff exploding? I'm sure they'll take that well. What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Oh, I gotcha. We make him stop being a specter. And we can go after him and nail his ass to the wall. We nice. prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Well, that was... An eventful mission, to put it lightly. And I think we're going to end it here. We've been going for nearly 50 minutes now. So, this has been Dark Phoenix Gaming, and you've been watching Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. If you've enjoyed this, then please leave a like comment down below and subscribe to see more like this. I hope you'll join me next time when we'll be heading to the Citadel and hopefully doing something about this Saren bastard. See you then folks. See you then.